Now today it's very important in business to know what you can sell, what you bring on the table. And to those that have trained and built skills in certain areas, that can be your mind, where you can get what to sell. Our entrepreneur today is an artist and he has transformed that into adding value or meeting the need of society in designing houses. This is the story. Living an inspirational life is what pushed Troy Elimu to look beyond and create a design and architectural company that would provide services to people. Kente Creations is a design and architectural hub that designs spaces, events and furniture. I would say the gestation period took me about four years to establish myself. So if I say I started in 2015, that includes the time that I used to register the company, to establish a structure that runs the company and to start generating income out of it. Uh, what inspired me to start uh, Kente Creations? I am a creative and an artist and I pick inspiration from different uh, places, different people and different aspects in life. So in the creative industry, uh, there's a lot that inspires artists. It can be landscape, it can be Uganda as a country and also our culture and heritage in Africa. When he started four years ago, he was prepared to learn from failures and improve the quality of his services. It is the reason why he passionately stayed to gain his experience to build a collaborative company. Uh, Kente Creations is a collaborative company, so uh, mostly we believe in collaborating with different artists, different architectures, so um, I usually believe in collaborating with people and working with people to bring ideas to life. So uh, it's not only me, but it's also a group of people, a group of uh, creatives, a group of um, uh, ideologies that we bring to life. Troy believed that working with people and utilizing their talent to the best would build him a large clientele best to serve and deliver a satisfying job. He therefore embraced social interaction with all kinds of people to drop at least an idea which in a way has built him. I pick different uh, ideas from all over. I use the internet to my best and I educate myself every day. Uh, you'll be shocked I work with people from all the way down to Kamocha, down to Katwe, down to Chisenyi because uh, there's a lot that uh, Uganda as a country has uh, when it comes to labor and also uh, infrastructure. When it comes to uh, designing a space and someone has a house and they need it to be designed, it's an empty space. Uh, we start with uh, drawing uh, plans and renders. That's uh, when I say a render or a 3D impression, it's an impression that shows a client what to expect of uh, what we're going to do. So we start with uh, giving a client an impression and then we go back to sourcing the materials that we need. So that comes to the bills of quantities. We break down what, uh, what uh, materials uh, we will need before we get to get our team together to execute the job. Despite all the efforts he puts to deliver, Troy is not an exception to challenges. He huddles through his challenges to stay in the market. So the creative process really is about uh, how much time we invest when we're creating and uh, the people that we work with. But most of the time in Uganda, uh, there are a lot of talented people. Uh, but the problem that they face in execution is uh, getting the right materials and the right client because sometimes client come, some clients come with different budgets and different uh, preferences so we do not get enough space or enough uh, uh, time to create or to bring our ideas to life because some clients know what they want but they also don't give us a chance to explore or to dig deeper into our ideas. He has a dream to build an inspirational hub that pushes Uganda to the world market. Our future plans as a company is we want to break through. We do not want to only focus in Uganda because uh, we, we are trying to sell Ugandan heritage. Uh, when you follow my page, you will see different uh, materials that I use are Ugandan materials, from the timber to the furniture to the art pieces. I work with different artists. So these are Ugandan uh, creatives that need to market Uganda as a, con as a country to the, to, to, to the world. So um, we plan on um, creating um, a hub that uh, uh, explores the creatives in Uganda but also pushes them to, to international markets and international uh, platforms. Now, if you want to make good money in business, it's good to be original in your ideas. And there are so many ideas in our countries that haven't yet been discovered because we are still growing. Now, today we share with you tips 
on why it is important to be original in your business ideas. The biggest challenge that we have here in Uganda is we are so used to copy and paste. So people start business just because they see another person doing the same business. But for anybody who wants to venture into any kind of business, it's not about the money. It's first about the research you do about what you're, you're going to start. The reason why most of the businesses like start up and they don't live to see their first, you know, first birthdays because people don't research. Like they just do because they see somebody else. So I, I would encourage people to do a lot of research. Do your market research, do research on the products that you want to do, you have to, you, uh, that you want to deal in. You have to be sure, like you can't do just everything. You must have specific products that you think, if I take this, I understand this product so well that even when I'm planning to export it, I know what the good quality should look like. Yeah, so market research, you know, product research, uh, before you start thinking of finances. Well, like we always say, there seems to be an application for everything and every activity we do in life, whether household level or in the business space. Our application that we are focusing on today is one that helps you book offline. So my name is Innocent Olichiza, the CEO and founder of Kaseba Technologies. Kaseba Technologies is a company that is locally registered in Uganda. It's a technology company that is building digital solutions for transport sector. One of our flagship solutions is a digital ticketing and payment system for buses, trains and ferries. And we have piloted this system on most of the intercity buses in Uganda. So far we have four clients in the bus sector and we have the commuter train uh, that is operated by Uganda Rules Corporation. So we, we are aiming at uh, making seamless mobility a reality in Africa by bringing in state-of-the-art solutions for ticketing and payment. So uh, our system is used by transport operators, uh, for example the buses. The buses use our point of sale terminal. We have built an application system that runs in here. They can use the machine to uh, issue uh, tickets and print them out. Uh, what does that mean? That means every sale of a ticket that is made is recorded and we have digital data here. Yeah. Then we have another part for the passengers. The passengers can go online, uh, go on our website and book any ticket. They, they can also download our app which is called Kaseba Go app and use the app to book their tickets. Yeah. So some of the benefits of our system is that it gives you a digital track of your business. You can use this information, for example, to go and apply for loans in the bank. Uh, you can use this information for your planning of the business, how you want to scale it up. But also uh, on the passenger side, uh, they can pay online using mobile money, and this makes life convenient. They can easily uh, book tickets without moving from their comfort. So in case uh, of the operators who use our system, uh, every ticket that is sold goes through a payment terminal. It goes through a post machine as you can see. All the records, transaction records for tickets sold and payments made go through the machine. They have access to this information for their informed decision making within their company. It also minimizes the leakages. It flags the income leakages from uh, manual processes. We are building these solutions to help this, uh, decongest Kampala. And uh, if I give you an example, uh, if you're a passenger that wants to go and reserve your bus ticket, you don't have to go downtown, you just go online, use the app or the website, buy and pay for your tickets online. This would save you money from running around just to book a ticket. They actually have the ability to pay using mobile money, so they can avoid hard cash. In the past three years, we've been building a digital solution which actually works on top of the internet. Uh, we need data for the solution to work. However, we've seen the challenges of uh, poor connectivity in some areas, especially remote districts, and that has 
made us think out of the box and built an offline solution. Our system can work without network, uh, it works offline. Yeah, so we have a highly skilled technical team that is very passionate about public transport. Uh, uh, of course, uh, these people have the ICT background and they have the understanding of the local transport sector. However much uh, we are working in an informal sector, our team is always having the energy to go and keep pushing. Uh, we have faced the challenge of low internet penetration. For most of our passengers don't have smartphones. They don't have uh, data to book tickets online. But some of these, uh, we believe the situation will be better and better as the internet and smartphone penetration rate increases in the country. Well, with that, we've come to the end of this week's edition of Banana Markets. Thank you for being part of the show. You're always good company and we treasure your participation and audience. Until next time, I'd like to wish you a very good evening. But remember to like our page and also visit us for more of these stories and engagements. Until next time, once again, bye-bye and God bless.